vlogist day 27 so as you can see I am feeling much much better today um, I spent the majority of the day just relaxing it's like 11 o'clock at night right now but I feel a lot better and I just wanted to take it easy today because I didn't want to just rush back into my normal routine too quickly and then just kind of relapse and get sicker because my dad would always tell me that when I was younger and I was sick and I would just want to get back into my everyday routine because I hate being sick. I'm someone who just hates being sick so much. I just hate not being able to do what I want to do. And he would always tell me to just like take it easy, otherwise if you jump back into things too quickly, you're just going to get even sicker and it's going to hit you harder. So I've been trying to take his advice and just fully recover from this food poisoning thing that I've been dealing with. But I feel much better today and I think I will be able to eat solid food very soon. I upgraded to soup recently last night for dinner. so. That was really awesome to be able to eat something other than Gatorade and crackers. So um, today, I guess, what should I talk about today? I think I'm going to talk about True Blood today because I got caught up on True Blood while I was relaxing. I have been neglecting my relationship with Mr. Eric Northman, who is a character on True Blood. If you don't watch True Blood, then this vlog is probably going to be very boring for you. And if you do watch True Blood, but you're not caught up, you may not want to watch this because I may spoil some things for you. So I'm just saying this in advance. But if you don't watch True Blood, you should watch True Blood. Um, I kind of have this... I have mixed feelings about True Blood because... Right now, I really love the show, but when I first started watching it, I was just kind of like, I liked it, but I was just watching it to watch it just to kind of pass the time. Um, it really took me a while to get into this show. It didn't like capture me and suck me in at the beginning. At first, I thought it was a pretty weird show. I was like, there's a lot of nakedness and a lot of sex in this. <laughs> Um, and I was just like, what am I watching? Am I, like, do, do I want to be watching this? I have no problem, like, watching sex scenes in movies and stuff, and, um, but I just wasn't expecting that much sex in this show. I was just like, alright, it's a lot of sex. Okay. Um, and a lot of blood, too. But, um, it really does have a good storyline once you stick with it. And I am not someone that likes like cheesy romance stories and I get very skeptical when a show is about vampires because I was a huge, or I am, I will never stop being a Buffy fan. I like had almost all of the books. I had the board game, comic books, I have the entire DVD series. I'm definitely a huge Buffy fan, so I get a little skeptical when these like vampire shows pop up. I'm just kind of like, oh, they can't compare to Buffy. But what I've learned is that I can't compare them to Buffy because they are different shows. So once I kind of put myself in that mindset, then I started liking shows like The Vampire Diaries, which is kind of based around a love triangle, but there's also other stuff going on, which I think is really interesting. And True Blood is definitely a much more adult show because of the sex and the violence, but um, it also has a really good storyline as well, and I think the actors are really, really good in that show. And I think it's really cool how um, Sookie and Bill um, Anna and Stephen Moore, I'm not sure how you say her last name, um, so I'm just going to say her first name, Anna and Stephen Moyer are actually married in real life, which is pretty cool. And then Alexander Skarsgård, who plays Eric Northman, is just like a Scandinavian god, that's what I call him. Um, he's, he plays like, I guess if you want to compare it to, um, the Vampire Diaries or Buffy, he's kind of like the Spike character in Buffy or Damon in The Vampire Diaries. And right now, I am loving Eric. At first, you like hate Eric in the series because he's just so mean and you really like Bill, but then Bill becomes, I don't know, you find things out about Bill and I just, I stopped liking him and I kind of stopped rooting for him 
and Sookie and I just really started to like Eric's personality a lot more because you can really see that he's a complex character and that he acts the way he does for a reason and I love Eric right now I love Eric with amnesia it's just so cute seeing him with amnesia because he's like this really big like tough guy and then like he loses his memory and he's just like all all soft and mushy so yeah I'm really enjoying True Blood right now cannot wait for Vampire Diaries to be back oh by the way I would like to know if you are rooting for Suki and Bill or Suki and Eric in the comments below. I haven't read the book series, the Suki Stackhouse series, but I'm thinking maybe I should. Should I? Have any of you read it? Let me know in the comments below as well. I'm also really excited for The Vampire Diaries to come back because I feel like that show has been on hiatus forever and I want it to come back. Oh, and I'm also kind of excited for this new show called Terra Nova that's um, premiering in the fall. I hope it's a good show. I was reading about it and it seems like something I might be interested in because I like like sci-fi things. So um, I remember Joey and I saw the trailer for it and we said that it reminded us, reminded us of Lost and Jurassic Park like combined. So We'll see how that goes. It's produced by Steven Spielberg, who also produced um, Falling Skies. So I like Falling Skies, so we'll see how this Terra Nova show goes. That is it, I guess, for today's vlogist. Also, I'm going to be filming that video with my mom, and I have decided to turn it into a Twitter talk, like, mom edition video. And so tomorrow, which is Sunday, I'm going to be tweeting, asking you guys to ask me questions to ask her, if that makes sense. So if you would like to participate in that, I will link my Twitter account down below so you guys can go and follow me so you will know when to ask me questions. I want like a good variety of questions. I want some questions that pertain to her, so questions that are like about her, and then also questions that are about me, like when I was little, like what was Ingrid like when she was a little girl, and stuff like that. So if you would like to participate in that, my Twitter account will be down below, and I will pick out like 10 to 20 questions and put together a video for you guys and film it with my mom as soon as I can. My mom actually has a toothache right now, so she's talking kind of funny. So as soon as her toothache goes away and she goes to the dentist, we'll film that video. So yeah, I'm glad I'm feeling better. Thank you so, so much to everybody who has wished me well. And again, I hope everybody on the East Coast is staying safe through this whole, whole Irene ordeal. I have been watching the news and it looks pretty terrible. So I just want you to know that my thoughts are with you guys and I am sending a huge, huge, huge virtual hug your way. So until tomorrow, I will see you later. Bye. That was kind of creepy. Don't you think, Pandy?